So taking on the role of Judy Garland, what was the most unexpected thing that you learned about her when preparing for the role? I didn't know that much about this chapter in her life, and it would never occur to me that a person who was so celebrated, um, who had worked at the highest levels for, at the time of this film, 44 years, mm. that she would be facing financial hardship. And after all the work that she had done um, in the studios and as a, you know, a, a, a live performer that she would have difficulty finding work, it was really, really shocking to me. And it made me very curious. Mm. I wanted to better understand the circumstances surrounding the challenges that she was experiencing at that time. Did you feel like it was a symptom of or maybe all of them of her being a woman in the industry of the time that she was living in or mm -hmm. kind of her own personal, uh, you know, uh, whether she wanted to really deal with the money side of things or was it a combination of all of those factors? Well, I would say certainly, certainly she was living in a time when women had no agency mm -hmm. ever the professional decisions that were the trajectory of their professional careers and some of the decisions that were made for her at the time you know people were quite ignorant of mm -hmm. the of the uh, consequences of, of, of certain things of, of the, the, the schedule and what it requires mm -hmm. and on a body in terms of you know the choice for medication to assist right. and it's so interesting because at that time I don't think that she would see herself as being victimized at mm. that time and I don't think it would have been nefarious either I think you know the people being ignorant they just thought this could be helpful to her because right. it's quite demanding what we're doing here and uh, so sadly at that time they just didn't know what we know now about addiction and and how to treat it how to address it how to recognize it mm. um, so certainly all of that all of that would have come into play, mm. I'm sure. Was there a lesson in particular that you were able to take away for yourself and your place in your career from obviously learning all about where Judy Garland was at that time in her life? Well, having experienced a little bit of that um, myself, um, you know, I understand a schedule mm -hmm. and I understand what it what it requires and what it takes and what and, and the toll that it takes on a body, you know, um, and that she didn't step away mm -hmm. and that she wasn't able to take a minute to recoup, but she continued on and, and to add live performance on top of that mm -hmm. and 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 how physically depleting that can be. Um, I, I just find her extraordinary. Mm. I mean, just resilience. extraordinary. Gosh, yes. Mm. I mean, I didn't know that she hadn't slept for two days right. before she did that live performance at Carnegie Hall, which mm. is considered one of the greatest performances, live performances, you know, in history. Mm. I mean, just think of w what that says mm. about her God-given talent There's and so her much, tenacity. Yeah, and it about her performance. But one of the things that I took really hit me was the scene with the cake at oh. the very end. Was that important for you to kind of I felt like it really wrapped up a lot of who she was in that moment. Oh, sure. Like a, a moment of, of recognizing. Mm -hmm. And uh, just one last question. Was there a specific outfit that you put on that really was like, this is now Judy, like you, that you really felt you inhabited her in in any of those outfits? Um, well, all of the performance costumes mm -hmm. felt like armor. Right. I mean, the juxtaposition of that sparkle and shine and the elegance and the glamour and the power of those outfits with the truth of her circumstances. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tells such a story, doesn't yes, it? Absolutely. Yeah.